Orleans has something for everyone. Nightlife, art, history, wildlife, food, and of course, adventure. If you like our video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget the bell. Ding! Welcome to New Orleans, where there's amazing food, music, and endless adventure 24-7. Here are two days on a budget. We decided to stay in a hotel just outside the French Quarter instead of a hostel because of COVID. If you've been to New Orleans, what are your favorite parts? And what was your favorite adventure? Please leave a comment in below. Usually the best way to learn a new city is a free walking tour. This time we opt to do a low cost scavenger hunt at our own pace. Here's what the scavenger hunt slash treasure map looks like. Ready for your adventure? Here we go. New Orleans was inhabited by the Choctaw until 1718 when two French brothers built a fort, a warehouse, and log huts to house them in, and they began shipping via the Mississippi River. A few years later, they teamed up with some French engineers to design the city in a grid of city blocks surrounding a central square, now Jackson Square, the heart of the French Quarter. The city grew until fires in 1788 and 1794 burned nearly all of it down. It was then rebuilt by the Spanish using mostly brick and tile, giving it the look it has today. We saw these cute little hitching posts all over the French Quarter and we were curious about them. Found a lot of online posts stating that they were antique leftovers, but one really believable local article that said that they were installed in the early 60s to keep people from parking on the sidewalks. Your walking tour of the city should last about two hours. Keep on walking, you're almost there. You know you're getting close to being finished when you get to Jackson Square. While in Jackson Square, look up and see the big Whomping Willow if you're a Harry Potter fan. Turn away now if you don't want to see the final product of your treasure hunt. There's some unique foods here. Slap your mama. Canned snails, seasoning for macaroni with sardines, Fried eggplant in a can, and more slap your mama? Wow! In the evening, Time to climb aboard a paddle boat for about $200 a couple on all you can eat dinner and amazing scenery. There's more affordable options and different routes to pick from. Dance and chef right there, we love it. Hello. The Port Orleans. Hello. Two of those, please. Two, all right. Yeah. Delicious. Is, uh, the food was good. Beautiful, beautiful night. Just uh, it was about 70 degrees, 72 degrees. A little less now, so it's down. Now, of course, since it went down, it's a little cooler, but it's absolutely beautiful. I recommend this to anybody. Creole Queen, it's about two hours. Two and a half. And uh, yeah, two and a half. They, they just stand a little longer. And uh, live band, wonderful food, and it was uh, very safe. Very nice to hear.
hear live music again. The pandemic uh, has put everything to a halt. So actually being out here with the wind blowing, they actually put out live music and it's the first time we've seen live music in over a year. Definitely nice. Be sure to take a break from the city. The bayou in the Jean Lafitte Barataria Preserve is a must. For over 1,800 acres with trails, hardwood forests, swamp, marsh, and canoe tours. The park is free and an amazing way to spend the entire afternoon. A 20 mile Uber ride will take you to an entirely different world. We saw a couple of different water snakes that may have been a Mississippi green water snake or broadbanded water snake. Please let us know in the comments if you recognize them. Seeing this wildlife up close and personal is an unforgettable experience. Seeing the creepy crawly, slithering swamp creatures is better than any zoo. From the trail we saw a deer, water spider, a frog, turtle, a bunch of cute little lizards, and even an alligator sunning himself beside the trail. Jean Lafitte was a French pirate and smuggler who operated warehouses in New Orleans and the Barataria. He and his brother received a pardon from General Andrew Jackson after they helped keep the British from gaining access to the Mississippi River during the Battle of New Orleans in the War of 1812. They later became spies for the Spanish during the Mexican War of Independence. If you arrive by cab or Uber, the park recommends making arrangements for the return trip. We didn't have to wait too long, but definitely a good idea. This is the first time we passed. This bad boy was facing parallel with the trail we were walking on. Looked non-threatening, but we were in awe of how big and massive these gators are. If you've ever watched Animal Planet, they are fast. On the way back, he's readjusted and now looking at the trail. Well, we figured we would stomp and maybe scare him. But we didn't want to make him upset. So we just grabbed hands and ran for it. Talk about an adrenaline rush where our hearts were going like crazy. That was fun. After a day of fun and excitement, time for a drink. Three main meals must have when you come to New Orleans. Oysters. Crawfish etouffee. And of course, alligator. First time having alligator. It's a thing down here, it's supposed to be delicious. It's my first time having it. So it tastes like chicken. We are gonna try it right now. Yeah. It's good, it's a hit, yes! <laughs> I recommend alligator to anybody. Mm -mm -mm. The bed of the hat be the same.
living the dream in Louisiana.